Hello guys, uh, here's what we're going to be making today. It is an octopus numbered quiet book page and all these little tokens here come off so you can take them off and um, put your numbers in order to correspond with uh, your octopus's suckers. So um, let's cut out our pieces and I'll show you how to assemble this. To make your Octopus Quiet Book page, uh, you will need to download the template which is on my blog and uh, the link is in the description below. You will also need a piece of cotton, or you can use felt, um, it's just got to measure 10 inches by 10 inches. And then you will need um, scissors, I've got my felt cutting scissors and I've got my thread cutting scissors. Of course you'll need a sewing needle and you will need threads and felts in all these colours, um, including black. Now, uh, you will only need a tiny piece in all these colours because these are going to make up the numbers on the template. So you'll only need very little of those colours. You need quite a bit of purple because that's going to be our octopus and the blue is going to make the round bits where your number's going to go on. Um, so it does look like a lot, but you only need tiny pieces in most of the colours. Okay. Right, let's cut out our pieces. Ah, you also need... Okay, I've cut out all the pieces for my Octopus Quiet Book page. One thing I neglected to mention that you will need is some of this Velcro stuff. Um, I've got some self-adhesive stuff, but um, any old Velcro that you've got will do. It's going to be used to stick on our um, number bubbles. Okay, so... First thing you've got to do before you start sewing your pieces together um, is uh, on your octopus is give him a, a little face so I'm going to get on with that now you can cut out some um, round black circles for eyes and then stitch yourself a little mouth and then he'll be done um, and also do a little bit of work on your numbers um, so what we're going to do is just do a fell stitch in a corresponding color on each of these just to stitch the number onto there okay so that's the first thing we're going to get on with and I'll get on with that straight away now my face is all sewn on now, um, what I might do is find some um, lilac -y sequins and just sew a few around his head and a few here just to kind of give him that kind of octopusy feel. But again, you know, when using embellishments, just use things that you've got lying around the house um, or things that you pick up in um, thrift stores or charity shops and things like that. Um, okay, now we're going to get on with um, assembling our numbers. I've sewn this one on already just using a fell stitch um, and we're going to prepare this piece um, to have our velcro on it so i've got this self-adhesive stuff and it comes in a big kind of long line like this so i'm just going to snip a small section off about that much is fine and then i'm just going to cut it so the fluffy part and the grippy part are in two pieces and i'm just going to place them together then on my fluffy part I'm going to take off the back. Mine's a self-adhesive one, yours might not be. And I'm just going to stick it on. So as you can see, I've placed all my buttons um, on my page, um, roughly where I'm going to sew them on. Um, so I've started with the smallest number here and gone all the way up to eight here. And these color, the, the colors on each tentacle will um, correspond with which number is going to be what. So eight is going to be green and four is going to be yellow. Um, it's just a tie that in um, and get that counting going on on this page. But I just wanted to show you how I plotted it out so I can make sure all my buttons would fit on each tentacle. Okay, right. Um, let's get cutting out our pieces. Okay, so I have sewn a few um, sequins onto my octopus and obviously sewn on his face. I've then sewn him down using a felt stitch all the way around his legs. And then after that, I have sewn my buttons on. Um, I didn't want to sew them onto just the felt because I want them to kind of stay on there quite sturdy. So I've sewn them through, so they've gone right the way through the cotton as well. Um, I've then assembled all of my little numbers. You can see this one here. So uh, I've got a uh, bell stitch to stitch on my actual number and then I've done a blanket stitch all the way round. And I've also stuck on um, my um, self-adhesive um, Velcro. I've made sure that the fluffy piece is on the back of my number token 
and my scratchy piece is um, going to be face down and I'll show you what I've done with all of them. I've cut this bit into a circle shape. It's so it kind of, when the number tokens are on there, they kind of just look like bubbles, but also it helps when you're trying to um, take them off. It makes it a bit easier if the scratchy surface is slightly smaller. So I'm just going to take the back off and then I'm going to, I'm going to put my number one up here. Just hold it down for a couple of seconds just so the glue sticks and then I'm ready to stick on my number and I've stuck the rest of them down as well. And there you have it, our octopus quiet book page. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have and you want to see more, please do subscribe. I upload every week uh, on a Wednesday and a Saturday. So please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Okay, bye for now.